Flare City family, what is up? It is Desi and Bobby back in the kitchen for part two of the healthy pantry haul for the quarantine. So last weekend we had the video for part one with a ton of healthy items that you want to stock up for during the quarantine. But heck, to be honest, always. Well, we had so many products that this is part two of the video. We're going to cover stuff from snacks to breakfast to tuna to bone broth to a lot more stuff. Um, before we get started, once again, this video is sponsored just like part one by Thrive Market. They are seeing a surge in sales from COVID related um, uh, traffic, right? But the cool thing about them, they're not raising their prices. They're increasing the shipping time just a little bit, not because they can't get it to you quicker. It's because they don't want to make their carbon footprint too big. And what's so great about them is that they're giving away free memberships to anyone who is negatively impacted by COVID health wise or financially wise. I'm going to put the link down below if you want to apply for that. Um, and you don't have to leave the house. The box comes to your door. They have such an amazing variety of keto, paleo, non-GMO, organic groceries for up to 30% cheaper than the grocery store. And if you're in the grocery store, use their price scanner feature on the app like I do. Scan a barcode. It'll tell you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market or if there's a better alternative. And they have a meat and seafood on there now, including pasture-raised pork and that bacon. Make it on the weekends. It is so darn dynamite. So in the description box is a link. It will take you to my pantry bundle on their website with over 20 items you should stock in your pantry that are super healthy. I think you're going to love it. And thank you to Thrive for being a supporter of the channel for over two years right now. So let's get going with the pantry haul with breakfast items. So we don't eat oats, but if you did eat oats, I want you to look for two things. Number one, I want you to get USDA organic oats. And this is the only product I've seen on the market that is sprouted. I've never seen sprouted oats. I've seen sprouted bread. What's the benefit of having sprouted oats? Well, sprouted grains have more nutrition your body derives from them, and it's easier on your tummy to digest. So this is the only one I've seen. They actually have it on Thrive Market. I used the price scanner at the grocery store. It was 25% cheaper on Thrive Market than at uh, the grocery store. So scoop that for sure if you're an oats fan. Uh, fan. Organic is a must when it comes to uh, oats because we talked about this in part one. Flour scores high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, and so does oats because they use it as a desiccant to kill the oats at the end of the harvesting process so it dries quicker. Please get organic oats, whatever you want to do get organic. Steel cut is actually higher in nutrition. It has more fiber, but it takes longer to cook. So I would get sprouted organic oats. These are the best on the market if you're going to eat oats. We don't eat them because they're very bloating for us. So we take a pass to those. Now, we talk about sardines and tuna fish, something that's very popular right now during the uh, quarantine. If you're going to eat tuna, look for either skipjack tuna or chunk light and look for sardines that um, they're always going to be wild, so I wouldn't worry about that, but either packed in water or good oil like extra virgin, not canola oil. So we have a video we talked about in the can review. Tuna is great, but most tuna is made from albacore tuna, which is a bigger tuna. The problem is big tunas score high in high mercury levels, right? Smaller tunas score low in mercury. So Skipjack or Chunk Light is the one you want to go for. This is a great company called Poland Line because they fish the tuna responsibly. They don't just drag a net on the bottom of the ocean. So look for uh, Skipjack or um, Chunk Light packed in water or extra virgin and look for sardines because these are not only shelf stable, both are shelf stable. The um, omega-3 fatty acids come out with the protein, make these a nutritional powerhouse. Desi loves to put these on an avocado toast, right? With some lemon juice and raw onions. Ooh, that's her favorite snack. These are dynamite. Now, when it comes to nut butters, if you're going to get peanut butter, I would recommend getting organic because unlike other tree nuts, peanut butters are legumes. Legumes grow underground and they're more susceptible to any kind of chemicals they spray on. So that has to be organic. But if you get almond butter or anything like that, that doesn't have to be organic. So here's right here, the Thrive Market almond butter. You don't have to get the organic. And when you look at stuff like pine nuts here from Thrive Market or cashews over here, you don't have to get organic. That's fine, right? So I, would, I always stock up on these. I splurged. I got the pine nuts, which are expensive, but they're so good. I always have some raisins in my pantry too. Very, very important. 
Now, a lot of people are working out at home during the quarantine. I don't know, raise your hands, you guys. Are you having a hard time working out at home? I love the gym. I've been working out at the gym since I turned 16 years old, four or five days a week. Desi, poor Desi, just got into the gym, started seeing major results, and now she can't go, and she has no motivation like me to work out at home either. But if you're working out at home, you still wanna have a post-workout smoothie. I have a whole video about protein powders, but I like plant-based protein powders, and these are two of my favorite. This is raw, unflavored, organic protein from Garden of Life, and this is Four Sigmatic, plant-based and mushroom protein powder. And what I love about this is that all the ingredients are organic, which is really important because plant-based uh, protein powders will use beans and legumes, which can score high in glyphosates if they're not organic. A lot of sprouted stuff in here. Um, and there's no natural flavor. So I'd say 99% of the protein powders on the market that are flavored use natural flavors. And you guys know how I feel about that. If you haven't seen the video, search my name plus natural flavors afterwards. It's pretty much another word for artificial flavors and can be quite the disguise for some unsavory ingredients. So these are two of my favorite. And then I usually mix them with the Thrive Market collagen peptides. Listen, I've talked about this before. I'm 42 years old. I need as much collagen supplement as possible. Not only good for your joints, but good for your skin, your hair, your teeth, your nails, and your gut. Very, very gut friendly, right? So I would scoop that. Another thing I always scoop from Thrive Market, and this is relatively new, when we eat tacos, we do paleo taco shells. These are grain-free hard shell tacos. And look at the ingredients. There's just a couple and they cook them in avocado oil, not nasty canola oil or soybean oil. These are really good. You gotta toast them for a few minutes in the oven, but they're dino, right? Next up, I wanna grab, I'll grab these canned soups actually. And as soon as the video is done, I'm gonna drop these off at my dad's house because he likes to eat canned soup but I saw some of the ones he eats and I wasn't a big fan of the ingredients. And that's pretty common for most canned soups. The ingredients are not so good, but Amy's organic canned soup is crazy. Look at these ingredients, you guys. First of all, is everything's organic, but nine times out of 10, when you see the oil she uses, it's extra virgin olive oil. Look at that. You're always gonna find in soups, really cruddy oils like canola oil, soybean oil, maltodextrin, filler, this is all thriller, no filler. I don't care which one you pick up. It's amazing ingredients. They also make reduced sodium one in case you wanna look out for your um, blood pressure. Pick up the light and sodium versions, but these are going to my dad as soon as the video is over because Amy, including frozen food, does amazing, amazing stuff with her ingredients. So props to them and props to them for staying independent for so long. I'm sure they've received multiple buyout offers. Like really, really impressive. So. Let's think, think about sauces and condiments and stuff like that. Um, mayonnaise, right? This is the Thrive Market Keto Coconut Oil Mayonnaise. The reason I call it keto is because it's made with the coconut oil. It has MCTs in there, median chain triglycerides, and it doesn't have a super coconutty flavor. And if you don't wanna get that one, I would go for the Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil Mayonnaise. And this stuff will last you a long time. And most mayonnaise is made with soybean oil, GMO canola oil, other preservatives, natural flavors. These are made with heart healthy oils. And we've talked about immune system boosting foods before. Heck, we just made a video about it for um, during the quarantine. It's in your best interest to eat immune boosting foods now. And processed plant oils like canola and soybean are actually inflammatory and bad for your immune system in my opinion. Coconut oil and avocado oil are actually really good for your immune system and they're non-inflammatory. So I would stock up on that for sure. These, once again, this will be part of my pantry bundle when you click on the link down below. And make sure, I always talk about this when I make a Thrive video. You're gonna be cooking a lot of grass-fed beef and grass-fed and uh, pasture-raised pork chops. Cook it in the Thrive Market grass-fed organic ghee. If you love the flavor of movie theater butter, this is that version, but 100% natural, not made with hydrogenated oils and artificial flavors and colorings and stuff like that. Now, we make a lot of bone broth at home, but if you don't wanna make it because it is a little bit cumbersome and can be smelly to do it at home, get something like a premium kettle and fire. Even Thrive Market has their own bone broth now. And the reason why you wanna get stuff like this is because if you're gonna make soups and stews or sauces, not only is it tastier because you're using bone broth, but it's high in gelatin, collagen, which is good for your immune system and your skin, but chondroitin, it's high in too, really good for your immune system, right? 
it's extracted from the bones. So they're also getting essential mineral, minerals out of the bones that your body needs. In my opinion, there's nothing that takes the place of bone broth. It'll make anything you're making like that um, red coconut curry um, soup with the scallop meatballs we made last week on YouTube Live with the bone broth, the homemade broth at that time. It was amazing. With anything else, it'd be good, but not quite the same. And then, ooh, tomato paste. Just like that recipe I talked about, this is to double concentrated tomato paste in a tube. Whoever invented tomato paste in a tube is a genius because it doesn't go bad as quickly as the tin. This is another flavor booster. Another flavor booster. I would always have this in the fridge. This is red curry paste. And this has crazy ingredients that you're not gonna have on hand. Look at this, kaffir lime leaf, galangal, really amazing ingredients. These two are flavor bombs. You can add it to, once again, the soup that I made, uh, stews, braises, really, really good things that offer umami and flavor. And these will last you forever. Now, I typically don't spring for manuka honey. It's expensive, right? But during times like this, I am springing for it because this is manuka honey from New Zealand. The bees feed on manuka bushes, which are really high in nutrients, and this is proven to boost your immune system. It also has other health properties, like it's more anti-inflammatory, and it's really, really good for you. You don't wanna cook with this, right? But eating it raw or stirring it into warm tea is super good for you, and we're all about boosting our immune system. Let's see what else I have hidden back here. Oh, here we go, granola and crackers, snacks and maybe breakfasty type items. In part one, actually in the beginning of this video, we talked about oats, right? We talked about oats have to be organic and we don't eat oats. The thing is, we still like granola, so we eat grain-free paleo granola. What does that mean? Look at the ingredients. There's no, there's no oats, it's all nuts and seeds, hemp seeds, really good oil, the sweeteners, maple syrup, so it's paleo instead of white refined sugar. I believe and Desi believe that if you eliminate oats from your diet for 30 days, more than half the people watching right now will probably feel better. Oats have a very bloating effect for us. We can feel them big time, but a lot of people might not feel them as much. But try eliminating, if you're curious, try eliminating oats from your diet for 30 days, see how you feel, and then you can slowly reintroduce it back into your diet. And if you feel that bloating or that tiredness, I would start going grain-free, and it's very easy to do that with paleo granola like this. And you want snacks, right? You're streaming Netflix, Amazon uh, video. This is one of the best crackers on the market. It's grain free. And there's actually no wheat in here at all. So it's Mary's Gone Crackers. Look at the ingredients. It's just made with whole grains that are gluten free, like quinoa, like brown rice, tons of seeds, real seasonings. There's no oil. They're not even using oil in this. That's what I like to see. If you're gonna eat crackers, we talked about this many times, and bread, it's gotta be whole grains because simple carbs like a wheat are inflammatory in my opinion and offer no nutrition. Whole grains offer a ton of nutrition and actually satiate your hunger way more. Plus it has fiber and other stuff that your body needs. This one is great. Put that in with some guacamole, some homemade hummus, whatever you want. This is fantastic. Oh, this is a really cool product. So we talked about uh, collagen, how much I love it. And we talked about coffee and tea in part one of this video that came out last weekend. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. This is brand new and they just got it on the website of Thrive. Primal Kitchen, which is one of my favorite brands, makes collagen keto chai tea latte and matcha green tea latte. The ingredients, look at this. This is sweetened with monk fruit has grass-fed collagen and coconut milk. It's very, very creamy and delicious. And this has matcha green tea and powder, monk fruit, and the color is so beautiful on this. A little pricey, but I love this stuff. It's so good and good for you. I take collagen twice a day, usually in my morning organic green loose leaf tea and in my post-workout smoothie. But like I said, since I've been slacking on my workouts, I haven't been having too many smoothies. Instead, I'm having a uh, collagen latte while uh, watching Netflix. I, I gotta start working out more at home. This is not good. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Okay, so you're gonna be cooking a lot now, right? Well, you have to think about salt and you have to think about spices. So spices, in my opinion, are free flavor. In the link down below, 
uh, to my pantry bundle will include spices. I'm a big believer in spices because they're free flavor. You put them on pork, chicken, whatever, enhances the flavor for minimal cost and no extra calories or fat. Spices are a must. You guys know I love smoked paprika, cumin, chili powder, stuff like that. I have a whole drawer of it that Desi Marie kondo very well here, and we use every single one of these. Spices are a must for adding flavor to anything you're cooking with. But look at this while you're here, babe. We also have a ton of salts, right? I have Hawaiian red salt. I have Celtic sea salt. I have Himalayan pink salt. I have Redmond real salt. And then just for, just for fun, I have this. I used to use this. I just didn't throw it away because I want to show it for videos like this. I have kosher salt. I used to use kosher salt like this all the time. I never used iodized white salt, but I stopped using this after I started researching salts last year. It's your best idea to use unrefined cooking salts because these salts like this and iodized white salt are bleached, processed, refined, and they put anti-caking agents in here. They bleach out all of the trace minerals, whereas this kind of salt right here has up to 70 trace minerals. This is Celtic sea salt, gray salt. I love this stuff. And because it has more trace minerals, number one, it doesn't just have sodium chloride, so it doesn't spike your blood pressure as much as normal salt. And it has electrolytes in here, calcium, magnesium, stuff your body needs when they're bleaching away the trace minerals or doing you an injustice. You want those because they also, get this, offer a complex flavor. So not only is this better for you health-wise, it's better for you flavor-wise because those minerals actually add a lot of flavor. So ditch this if you're worried about iodine as a supplement. I don't think you have to worry about it anymore because number one, the reason they put iodine in salt back in the day is because people had goiters. We don't have those issues anymore. If you really need a supplement of iodine, you can eat a diet rich in iodine or you can get a good iodine supplement. It's not worth eating cruddy bleached salt just to have iodine because this stuff really is, in my opinion, toxic. You don't want that. Um, when you cook at home, you can use the best salt and you can use the best oils like avocado oil and ghee, right? That's really what you want to do. So. That's it, you guys. Part two of this video is done. Uh, make sure to check out part one link for a Thrive Market membership in the description box. The link takes you to my pantry bundle. I want you to have the best quality stuff in your pantry now, but even always, because then you can make healthy, delicious meals with the best in class Bobby approved products. Um, if you want more quarantine, uh, uh, content, please let us know, right? We're here to make content for you. We're doing the live streams every single day, Monday through Friday. So please subscribe and enable the bell icon below the video. That way you get a push notification. If for some reason you're not getting that push, make sure on your phone, whether it's Android or iOS, you have uh, notifications from YouTube enabled. It's very, very tricky, I know, but you don't want to miss the live streams. Uh, we got two more videos going below us right now. But Desi and I and Rose, who just slept through both part one and part two of this video, I was hoping she would join us because I know you guys love to see Rose. She's sleeping, but she sends her love. We will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys.